I'd like to talk to you about support and resistance lines today and how I use them to determine maybe when a market's gone too far, maybe due for a pullback or maybe due for a rally. I'm going to apply this to the, to the stock market. So on this chart here, for example, this is daily bar charts, okay? You can see during this period of time here, we had a period of, of falling, uh, falling peaks and troughs, which defined a downtrend. And then the market started to rally, and it's been in a very strong rally mode for about two months. But it's reached a very critical spot marked by these two red arrows. Anytime the market is in an uptrend and it reaches a very prominent previous peak, that's normally a spot where traders start to look to take some profits. They look at charts the same way we do. And you can see, for example, that this, this rally right here, it's 26,200 on the Dow Industrials. If you look back, that was almost the exact level that was hit three or four months later, actually 26,300. So very, very close. So a lot of traders are looking at this to see what the market's going to do when it moves up across that that red trend line there, and I drew in the red, red, arrow, uh, red circles there because it's a little bit of a danger area. So the market's rallied a little too far, a little too fast. It's become a little overstretched on the upside, or to use a technical term, a little overbought, and it's right up against a significant resistance area. If the market is going to fail, or uh, at least go into a consolidation or a pullback of some type, this is the logical spot for that to happen. And that's why we look at support and resistance levels.